I hope you're watching the upcoming video in a safe environment. This is a really scary time in the world with coronavirus, and I just want you to know that now more than ever, it's important to uh, be at peace with yourself so that you don't get too panicked and fearful. Um, please be well and be safe. Do you ever find yourself being nagged by yourself about something you said, something you did, something somebody else did or said? Last episode, I mentioned being a scientist of self, and these are the cues that you want to pay attention to to start to be curious about because there's a reason why these things are bothering you. Now, what do scientists do? Scientists take a step back. They look really closely at something. Scientists observe their objective, meaning they stand outside and they look inside. Now, that's super hard to do when we're in our lives and, and we're caught up and we're being nagged by ourselves, and that's called subjectivity. So scientists are objective. They're looking at things from the outside and they're not attached. They have no feeling. They're just curious. When we're in our lives and we're in pain or angst or anything else and we can't step outside, then we're subjective. We want to practice being objective. It's important to remove yourself from the situation so that you can get at your own truth. Practice being that best friend who is curious and really, really, really wants to know about you. You will never be able to speak up to somebody what is your truth unless you know what it is. You'll never be able to not go along with somebody unless you know what your truth is. So what blocks us from knowing our truth? What takes you out of your body? What prevents you from being that scientist of self and really looking closely? Well, one reason may be that you're happy. And if you're happy, <laughs> I am so happy for you. If you're happy, you may not be watching this video anymore. So anyway, we're not going to talk about the super happy people right now. The people who are going to be continuing to watch are the ones that aren't happy, that feel some pain. That was my experience. So if we're in pain, some feeling is uncomfortable that we don't want to deal with, we're going to want to escape. That's one reason why you may not be in your body. The other is shame. You may have shame about something in your past, the person you are. I feel like I grew up with intrinsic shame. But let me tell you that truth, truth is the antidote to shame. Fear might be the other reason. Now, fear would probably be the result of having pain or trauma that you've escaped, or even shame, shame about something in your past or something that somebody has instilled in you through their actions. So that fear has kept you out of your body and away from your truth. Learning to listen to ourselves is a process. There's no quick fix. The important piece is just to have the desire, the willingness. I have two suggestions today. First, just simply breathing and relaxing. If you have escaped yourself, your body, your knowing, you're not relaxed. So for a moment, just take a breath. Let it out and let your shoulders drop. And if you can sit quietly for five minutes a day, that's all, just five minutes a day, breathing and relaxing. That's one way to start to be with yourself. The other thing I want you to do is to pay attention. If there is a little voice in your head, pay attention to that. Just start to notice it. 
many years ago when I first began my self-appeal journey, I would get the name of a movie and it would go over and over in my head, sort of like a flashing light, right? When you're driving down the road and you're coming along um, to some road work or something until I would sit down and watch the movie. And the movies that I would watch that would come up were all about emotion and feeling of pain and sadness. I do write about this in my memoir. There are other lessons in there. That little voice, it may be really, really faint, but that little voice will help you begin to know your truth. So it may be a song, it may be a movie, it may be a, a friend, somebody you need to talk to that you feel close with, that you can sort of spill your guts. Maybe you've been holding the truth in and you have a few trusted people. I certainly hope so. Always share with trusted people. And in that way, you're being a scientist of self because you're paying attention. Simply becoming aware is a fantastic way to start learning your truth. When you know truth, you can speak truth. You don't have to go along. You don't have to give in anywhere you are in your life, with family, with lovers. Reach out. Please share. Um, be well and know that when you feel good about you, others will too.